You're watching MMA Odds Breaker. I'm Frank Trigg. That's Justin Gaethy on the other side. And yes, I had to ask him how to pronounce his name. Gate Gay Chi, right? Gay Chi. Yes, yeah, sir. there it is. See, I, even though he told me, I still screwed it up. There, uh, uh, my brother who speaks several different languages is now extremely upset at me for not pulling that one off. So, <laughs> He's, yeah, no, it, uh, it'd be interesting to see if he can even pull it off, but uh, it doesn't make a difference. I screwed it up, so he gets to make fun of me. So, Perfect. World Series of Fighting number six. You're fighting Dan Lauzon, uh, October 26th down in Coral Gables, Florida. Let's break down Dan first. Um, how do you see him as a fighter, and what do you think he's going to try and do differently against you that he that he hasn't done over his last twenty one opponents? Um, you know, I I got to watch. Uh, you know, I bought the same car as him in um, what was it in Vegas? Yeah, and he fought John Gunderson, yep. and I was really impressed. You know, with his fight, I actually said I wanted to fight him after that fight because I was I was really impressed with the, you know the way he came forward, the way you know how aggressive he was. And, you know, that's the kind of fights I like to be in, people that are going to be in my face and, uh, you know, brawl with me. So, that's uh, some, I'm really excited to fight Dan. You know, I'm, I uh, respect him as a fighter completely, and I'm excited. We should mention that uh, Dan is 17-4, and four, and you're 9-0. and oh. This will be your 10th professional fight, and quite possibly your 10th victory. This is kind of a, uh, and let's not forget, you had eight, seven amateur fights? Yeah. Seven amateur seven. fights, so... I mean, you're, you're running a 16-fight win streak right now, you know, in MMA, yeah. and that's huge. And a lot of guys getting to that, that 10 professional mark jumps you all, all of a sudden. If you have 10 wins, it jumps you a big level. Like, it gets you to the next the next level of, of competition. People start actually paying really, really heavy attention to you. This is kind of your coming out fight as far as MMA is concerned. You fought on some of the other, you know, you beat guys like Drew Fickett already. You beat Brian Cobb your last time out on and, and World Series of Fighting Three. Uh, you Didn't you leg kick? Cobb in the submission? Yeah. Is that what happened? Oh, yeah, I also fought Jay Z. Yeah, you got Cavalcante as well. Uh, uh, that one was a TKO, if, I, if my memory is correct. Right? There was a doctor stopping from a cut, yeah. So it's not like you're not fighting tough competition. You fought tough competition already, but it always seems like that 10th fight is the one that makes everyone break out and pay attention to you. Have you felt any of that kind of added pressure from anybody, especially from a guy like, like Dan, who is so good in his own right? No, I wouldn't say uh, more pressure. You know, this is this is what I've been looking forward to. You know, hopefully, uh, you, what you say is correct. You know, I'm I'm ready for that step, and uh, you know, that's where I, I put myself. You know, and I'm really, I feel like I'm, I belong in, in the, fighting the top guys. You know, and that's that's what I've been working for my whole life. You know, with wrestling and wrestling since I was four years old. So, you know, that's something I have worked. For. I love competition and I love the challenge. So that's what more can I ask for. Are you a fight fan as well as being a, like a professional fighter? Do you watch all the fights that, that get on TV and get on the internet? Yeah, yeah, I do. I watch as much as I can. Who's your favorite fighter right now? Ooh, right now? Man, I love the way Johnny Hendricks has been fighting, to tell you the truth. Um, Is that because you're a wrestler and you, you, you no, lean towards wrestlers? I hate, I hate Oklahoma State. I, can't <laughs> even, I hate them so bad. So, no, it's, it has nothing to do with that. I just love He comes out there, he throws hard punches. I mean, he puts on a great show, tries to knock the guy out. That's, I think that's what fans want, and I, I think that's what we should be going after and doing, is trying to finish a fight. You know, we're, we signed a contract to let someone hurt us, so someone needs to get hurt. I, you know, that's why I go to every fight. If uh, you had to explain to somebody at home who's never seen you fight before, and you, you said you've been wrestling since you were four, but a lot of your wins have been coming by KO. Are you gonna, would you describe yourself personally as more of a wrestler, or would you describe yourself personally more as a kickboxer? You know, I want to keep the persona that I'm, I'm a wrestler for as long as possible, you know, and, you know, I'm working on my, uh, I'm here at the Good Training Center with Trevor Whitman, and I couldn't ask for a better striking coach, you know. I mean, I'm sure you you know you know about Trevor Whitman, yeah. he's, he's fantastic, he's, the positive attitude, you know, it speaks more than, you know, the work that he gives me, uh, and so I, I, that's something I can't ask for, and, you know, it's building me along, and so, like I said, I want to keep people thinking I'm a wrestler, but, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fighter now, so I'm going to come out there and I'm going to fight. All right, to date of your, of your nine wins, who was your toughest opponent so far? Um, I, I, did you watch Donnie Bell fight on that last Bellator fight? Yes, I did, yeah. I fought him. He was, he was freaking tough, man. You fought him back in uh, 2011. Yep. So yeah, yeah, you're in Colorado. Was he tough because you don't know as much as you do now? It's been two years. So it was a tough fight because at that level at that time was a tough fight? Or even if you fought him now, it'd still be, it'd still be, still be just as tough a fight? No, I, I can't say one way or another. You know, I I could say that uh, you know my discipline's 
nowadays are much, much, much more, uh, you know, where they need to be when it comes to fighting and training and, uh, you know, being mentally prepared. So, you know, I'm definitely a better, better and more, you know, just a well-rounded fighter. To where I was two years ago, I was a wrestler two years ago, you know, and I, now I'm a fighter. So, you know, I think it would be a way different fight, you know, but he's freaking tough. He, he gave me a big old star, you know, I loved it. I like getting cut, so, I mean, he was great. I love, I love wars. I do. There, uh, you fought Drew Fickett back in October of 2012. Since then, you fought three times. This will be your fourth fight in just over 12 months because that was October 20th. This next fight is October 26th. Is that the yes. pace you like to keep is fighting about four times a year? Absolutely, or more. I mean, I want to fight as many times as possible. I mean, I think, uh, you know, the humans, you know, every, everybody, you know, they, they only remember what they see. So if I fight, uh, you know, say two times a year, you know, they might be really impressed when I do fight. But, you know, I come out eight months later, you know, they, they're already proud about me. They don't remember who I was or, you know, they might, uh, oh, this is the guy. And then they get hacked up. But I want to keep fighting. So, that these, you know, I want, I want to build a fan base. And that's, that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to put all the fights for you guys. You fought uh, Cavalcante in March of 2013. And then two months later, you fought Cobb in 2013. This next fight is about a four-month Difference is it better for two months between fights for you, or better for four months? I'd say two months, absolutely. I, I like, uh, you know, unless I get really hurt, which you know I've been really fortunate. I got a couple cuts here and there, but uh, you know I've been able to train right away. You know, to know I don't really expect to take uh, at least far. I might take the classes off, you know, for the next week, but I'll go in and spar with my teammates. You know, I love, I love sparring, I love banging. So, uh, you know, I just I like training. So as long as I can keep training, I want to keep fighting. I'm in shape. I want to fight. Thanks for spending some time with us here on MMA Odds Breaker. That's Justin Gatchi, and he's fighting Dan Lauzon, USOF6, October 26th, down there in Coral Gables, Florida. I really do think this is going to be one, the fight of the night on that entire card because both of you guys love to bring it, and both got both of you guys are underrated on the ground, both top and bottom. And I'm waiting to see, does Dan take you down, you take him down, and what happens once you guys hit the ground? Hey, I'm excited. I'm excited to see where it goes. I plan, you know, we all say we plan for everything, but like you said, you know, we, we, we go to the gym every day to get ready to fight, and uh, we're going to step in that cage. I really, all I can say is I hope that he meets me in the middle, you know, I hope I'm not chasing, I hope I'm not chasing around the cage. That's all I can say. You know, if he wants to take me down, that means he's coming forward, so I'm looking, I hope that's what he's going to do. So, uh, you know, that's what, I'm really, really excited for this fight. Beautiful, Justin. We'll talk to you soon, bud.